The U.S. Navy, a force to be reckoned with on the global stage, boasts an arsenal of maritime might that stretches beyond the imagination. From the thundering naval guns to the futuristic railguns and awe-inspiring lasers, the U.S. Navy stands at the forefront of technological innovation in naval warfare. In this video, we'll delve deeper into the heart of this military marvel, exploring the weaponry that defines its dominance. A railgun, unlike any conventional weapon, harnesses the incredible force of electromagnetic fields to propel projectiles at unimaginable speeds, revolutionizing the very concept of firepower. It's a technological marvel that transforms the principles of electromagnetism into devastating force projection. Instead of relying on traditional propellants or explosives, a railgun employs electromagnetic fields to launch projectiles. This novel approach eliminates the need for chemical reactions, making railguns cleaner, more efficient, and less prone to malfunctions. The heart of a railgun lies in its electromagnetic setup. It consists of two parallel rails, usually made of conductive materials like copper, and a conductive projectile, often made of materials such as aluminum. When an intense electrical current flows through the rails, a powerful magnetic field forms between them. This magnetic field interacts with the conductive projectile, exerting an immense force that propels it forward at staggering speeds. Unlike conventional artillery, railguns do not rely on explosive charges to create kinetic energy. Instead, they leverage the basic principles of physics, mass and acceleration to achieve unprecedented impact. By accelerating projectiles to velocities far beyond the reach of traditional guns, railguns deliver kinetic energy that surpasses even the most advanced munitions in existence. This energy is what makes railguns a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. The sheer velocity achieved by railgun projectiles is mind-boggling. These projectiles can reach hypersonic speeds, often exceeding Mach 6 or more. The result is a level of precision and destructive potential that leaves conventional weaponry trailing far behind. The kinetic energy unleashed upon impact is enough to penetrate heavily armored targets, making railguns a game-changer in anti-ship, anti-armor, and even anti-missile operations. One of the most remarkable aspects of railguns is their adaptability. The technology can be scaled up or down to suit various platforms, from naval vessels to ground-based installations. This adaptability extends to the projectiles themselves, which can be tailored for specific mission profiles, whether it's engaging distant targets or intercepting incoming threats. Such versatility ensures that railguns remain relevant across a spectrum of modern combat scenarios. At the heart of this creativity is the U.S. Navy's constant drive to make new ideas a reality. One of its first-of-its-kind projects is the Electromagnetic Railgun, a feat of engineering that was finished in 2005. Instead of using power charges that are fired, like most guns and cannons do, the railgun uses electricity and magnetism to shoot projectiles at speeds of over 7,500 miles per hour, or Mach 10, which is 10 times the speed of sound. This new way of doing things not only makes them more deadly, but it also makes them safer to use by reducing the amount of explosives on board while keeping the potential for a devastating effect. The Zumwalt-class destroyers, which are driven by Rolls-Royce turbo generators that can make 78 megawatts of power, are a good place to put these high-tech railguns. The evolution of railgun technology has been nothing short of astonishing, pushing the boundaries of conventional weaponry and redefining the concept of naval firepower. What began as a theoretical idea has transformed into a tangible force with remarkable capabilities, thanks to relentless innovation and engineering prowess. The U.S. Navy's Dahlgren Division stands at the forefront of these advancements, spearheading the development of rail guns that have captured the imagination of military strategists and scientists alike. Their groundbreaking efforts have yielded prototypes capable of harnessing the astonishing power of electromagnetic forces. In a key moment that showed the real potential of railgun technology, the Dahlgren Division showed off a prototype 8 megajoule railgun. This amazing feat was a big step forward in the field, as this prototype showed it was possible to speed up projectiles to speeds that had never been seen before. The sheer power of these projectiles hinted at a new age in naval battle. 
where traditional explosives would be replaced by pure kinetic force. The tests conducted in 2008 were a testament to the relentless pursuit of pushing technological boundaries. During these tests, a railgun achieved a staggering velocity of 8,270 feet per second. This mind-boggling speed not only defied conventional expectations, but also highlighted the potential of railguns to deliver devastating impact over vast distances. The world watched in awe as these projectiles hurtled through the air with pinpoint accuracy and unparalleled force. One of the most interesting things about railgun technology is how far it can shoot. These guns have already shown that they can hit targets up to 100 miles away. Such a range opens up a lot of strategy options, letting naval forces fight opponents from a safe distance and reach important goals without putting their own ships in danger. It's important to emphasize that the destructive potential of these projectiles is not solely defined by their speed, but also by their mass. The sheer kinetic energy generated by a high-speed, heavy projectile can inflict catastrophic damage upon impact. This unique combination of speed and mass makes railguns particularly formidable, capable of incapacitating even heavily fortified targets. Recent developments in railgun technology have prompted a rethinking of naval combat tactics. Railguns present a new paradigm in naval confrontations, one in which devastating force can be delivered without the use of conventional explosives. The road to using all of the power of railguns, which are amazing examples of electromagnetic force, has been both exciting and difficult. Railguns have caught people's attention because they could change the way sea wars are fought. But getting them to work has been hard and has sometimes failed. Even though a lot of hard work and enthusiasm went into making these advanced electromagnetic launch systems, they have run into problems that have briefly stopped their progress. The U.S. Navy, a prominent pioneer in railgun research and experimentation, has undertaken a strategic recalibration of its priorities. In a calculated move that reflects the dynamic nature of military technology, the Navy has opted to temporarily shift its focus away from railgun development. Instead, it has embraced the exploration of alternative avenues, directing its resources towards projects such as the enhancement of longer-range missiles and the integration of laser technology into its formidable arsenal. This strategic pivot signifies the Navy's proactive response to the evolving landscape of global security. The successful interception of an airborne drone using laser weaponry in 2020 serves as an emblem of this shift. The Navy's commitment to innovation and adaptability shines through as it navigates uncharted waters, venturing into futuristic weaponry to ensure maritime supremacy. This strategic redirection not only demonstrates the Navy's capacity to remain at the forefront of technological advancement, but also highlights its unwavering determination to explore unconventional paths in the pursuit of national defense. Enter the realm of naval armaments and a true titan stands out, the Tomahawk cruise missile. An embodiment of precision, versatility, and sheer destructive power, the Tomahawk has transcended its role as a mere weapon and emerged as a testament to human ingenuity and engineering excellence. With a reach that defies geographical and meteorological constraints, this cruise missile has redefined the contours of modern naval warfare. The terrain contour matching TURCOM technology is a technological marvel that is at the heart of the Tomahawk's power. TURCOM is a complicated dance of sensors, data, and computing power that allows the missile to travel the Earth's labyrinthine terrains with more accuracy than ever before. The result is a path that goes around obstacles and follows the shape of the land with skill, a virtuoso performance that ends with a hit that never misses. But the Tomahawk is important for more than just how well it works. Its best feature is that it can be used for a wide range of tasks thanks to its many different versions. With symphonic accuracy, the Tomahawk plays its symphony of destruction, whether it's against stationary land targets or elusive naval enemies. Even though the tides of naval warfare change and the seas of geopolitics rise and fall, the Tomahawk cruise missile stays firm as a key part of naval power. In an age where technology determines who is the best, this powerful projectile is a country's strategic edge, a sign of power projection, and a guardian of safety. 
Its strong presence is a symphony of deterrence that echoes across the oceans. This shows that it is possible to react quickly to new challenges on the constantly changing maritime stage. Maintaining a strong weaponry supply is crucial in naval combat. However, reloading naval guns requires careful preparation, precision, and safety. While missiles like the Tomahawk are powerful and effective, rearming at sea has required significant naval practice changes. The very nature of naval operations on the high seas presents unique challenges when it comes to reloading armaments. Historically, onboard cranes were utilized for reloading, but these devices were eventually phased out due to concerns about safety. The rolling motion of ships underway combined with the weight of the missiles posed significant risks to both personnel and equipment. The potential for accidents, damage to the vertical launch system, or injury to crew members necessitated a re-evaluation of reloading procedures. As global tensions have escalated and the need for swift response capabilities has intensified, the question of how to address these challenges has gained renewed attention. With the possibility of conflicts on the horizon, Naval forces are once again considering the merits of rearming at sea. This reconsideration prompts the exploration of innovative solutions that balance operational efficiency and crew safety. Rearming at sea has the potential to improve the readiness of the Navy, extend the operating range of fleets, and make it easier to respond quickly in situations that change quickly and are hard to plan for. When tensions are high or there is a war, being able to reload and restock weapons without going back to port can be a strategic benefit. Torpedoes, the stealthy assassins of the naval world, play a pivotal role in modern naval arsenals. These underwater weapons have evolved significantly over time, offering unprecedented capabilities for submarine warfare. Among them, the U.S. The Navy's Mark 54 torpedo stands out as a prime example of cutting-edge submarine engagement. The Mark 54 torpedo is a true marvel of modern engineering. Designed for surface vessels, it possesses the ability to engage submarines at significant ranges, a critical advantage in naval warfare. Its advanced technology includes sophisticated guidance and propulsion systems, making it a versatile and lethal tool for anti-submarine warfare. The Mark 54's precision targeting and high lethality make it a formidable threat against submerged adversaries. The evolution of naval warfare doesn't stop at torpedoes. Innovations like the Naval Strike Missile have revolutionized surface warfare capabilities. This advanced missile system provides naval vessels with an unparalleled ability to engage both sea and land targets. With its long range and precision targeting, the Naval Strike Missile expands the tactical options available to naval commanders, enhancing their ability to project force and deter adversaries. Naval warfare is no longer confined to the open sea. The High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, HIMARS, exemplifies the blurring of boundaries between land and sea conflicts. Originally designed for the U.S. Army, the HIMARS has found its way into naval operations, offering ships a powerful land attack capability. This adaptable rocket system can strike targets from a distance, making it a versatile asset for modern naval forces. Modern naval fighting is like a symphony, with many different tools that all work together to show power in a harmonious way. From torpedoes to missile systems like the Naval Strike Missile and the land-to-sea powers of HIMARS, naval forces have a wide range of ways to kill. Because of this, they can change to different situations and are ready to fight any threat, whether they are in the open ocean or near the coast. The utilization of such a diverse arsenal underscores the importance of global security and naval strategy. In an era where geopolitical tensions are on the rise, nations must carefully consider their maritime capabilities. The intricate balance of these lethal tools contributes to deterrence, stability, and the preservation of peace through strength. In an era where geopolitical tensions loom large, nations across the globe are taking significant strides to fortify their military capabilities. Among these nations, South Korea stands out as a prime example, resolutely committed to ensuring its national security in the face of potential adversaries. At the forefront of this strategic endeavor lies the visionary concept of the South Korean arsenal ship a maritime colossus born from the seeds of a U.S. Navy idea. 
As the winds of uncertainty blow across international waters, the South Korean arsenal ship emerges as a beacon of deterrence and power projection. This formidable sea-based juggernaut is envisioned to be equipped with a staggering array of cutting-edge missiles, forming an impressive display of offensive and defensive capabilities. This ambitious endeavor is more than just a naval venture. It is a cornerstone of South Korea's comprehensive military strategy, intricately interwoven into the fabric of its kill chain doctrine. The South Korean arsenal ship project epitomizes the nation's commitment to innovation and technological prowess. Drawing inspiration from a concept initially conceptualized by the U.S. Navy, South Korea has seized the reins of maritime advancement, embarking on a journey to create a vessel that embodies the very essence of modern naval warfare. Behind the scenes, engineers and naval architects collaborate to bring this vision to life. The ship's design is a meticulous blend of state-of-the-art engineering, advanced materials, and a strategic deployment of cutting-edge systems. Its hull, crafted to navigate the treacherous waters of potential conflicts, seamlessly merges stealth and resilience, reducing its radar cross-section and infrared signature to near-invisible levels. The South Korean arsenal ship is not merely a naval asset. It is a strategic masterpiece that aligns seamlessly with South Korea's kill chain strategy. Embedded within this strategy is the seamless coordination of sensors, spies, special forces, and, crucially, shooters, a symphony of capabilities designed to incapacitate and neutralize potential threats. The arsenal ship is the most important part of South Korea's defense because it is the maritime link in the kill chain. When tensions are high, its massive firepower is ready to send a clear message to enemies that any aggression will be met with an overwhelming and devastating answer. As we learn more about military innovation, we turn our attention to the awe-inspiring Zumwalt-class destroyers, which are a perfect example of naval mastery and change what it means to fight at sea. These ships are a great example of how hard people work to improve technology. They have a symphony of improvements that make them stand out on the high seas. At their core, the Zumwalt-class destroyers are a fusion of elegance and potency, artistry and engineering. Their stealthy design, inspired by historical hull forms yet propelled into the future, challenges the very notion of radar detection. This unique design minimizes their radar cross-section, rendering them elusive phantoms on the enemy's screens. But the Zumwalt class is not merely a triumph of aesthetics, it is a triumph of power. Powered by an unparalleled propulsion and energy system, these vessels stand unrivaled in their capacity to generate and harness energy. The Rolls-Royce turbines, akin to technological marvels, channel immense power through the ship's veins, enabling astonishing speeds of up to 30 knots. This energy abundance is not merely for propulsion. It electrifies a constellation of systems, from automation and operational control to the myriad sensors, radars, and sonars that grant the Zumwalt class a panoramic awareness of its surroundings. A lean crew of 150 personnel is entrusted with orchestrating this symphony of technology, reflecting the ship's mastery of automation and efficiency. Yet, it is in the realm of armament that the Zumwalt class truly shines. These vessels stand as veritable arsenals of destruction, armed with an impressive array of weaponry capable of reshaping the theater of war. The advanced gun system, boasting twin 155mm guns, stands as a testament to precision and power, capable of engaging both land-based targets and enemy vessels with unparalleled accuracy. The Zumwalt class is armed with more than just traditional weapons. It also has hypersonic rockets and laser technology, which are things from the future. The fact that these ships are now able to carry hypersonic missiles shows that they are at the forefront of military innovation. These missiles can hit targets faster than sound and do a lot of damage. In essence, the South Korean arsenal ship and the Zumwalt-class destroyers encapsulate the essence of modern naval dominance. Their creation is a testament to human ingenuity, strategic foresight, and the unyielding pursuit of security in an ever-evolving world. As the nature of warfare evolves, so too must naval strategies. Traditional threats, such as enemy fleets and coastal defenses, now share the stage with emerging challenges like cyber warfare and unmanned systems. Nations are investing in versatile naval platforms that can counter a wide spectrum of threats, from kinetic 
to digital. Collaborative efforts between nations and the sharing of technological expertise are becoming increasingly vital. Allies are pooling their resources to develop cutting-edge naval technologies that will shape the future of maritime conflict. The South Korean arsenal ship and the Zumwalt class represent a new era of naval warfare in a world where the oceans are themselves battlefields of power and influence. An era in which innovation meets strategy, where technology meets purpose, and where the search for domination charts uncharted waters. These ships are poised to direct the future, keeping the oceans safe for nations and inspiring wonder for future generations. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.